Hey everyone, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. So today we are outside. It is officially spring, as of, well, wasn't like a week ago? Mm, about a week. About a week. It definitely feels like spring today. And we're gonna be doing some cool stuff. We are going to start our seeds! Woo! <laughs> and we have something new that we are going to try this year, which is... A green stalk vertical planter. So come with us as we set it up and check it out. Don't drop it on your toes. Okay. I didn't hear Moose say, oh no. At least you're going downhill. <laughs> Sit on it to help stabilize. <laughs> Got a little taller, huh? I'm going to put this smooth side down so it doesn't slip and slide. Oh, okay. Just saying. That, that's like 25 pounds. This is more like probably 100 at least. Whoa. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! I didn't judge the distance good enough. Oh, our free trash. Hey, we've been saying that thing for years. That came with us before Elijah was born. Well, there we go. Little flagstone granite walkway. The, the way Dang it! Up there. Hey, look, it, it notched it out so it could get closer. Yep, it's like the state of Georgia. All right, we'll have to level this. And well, there's something else we can use for something else. There's instructions. Awesome. Now it's for me then. Here's wheels. Do they have like stoppers on? It's a mover and it comes with this drain hose and a stopper like this for uh, what we're, us we're using. But the drain hose is if you're on a deck or a patio. Cool. They're really neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all then the insect net cover. All right. Okay. Hey, we can cross some cabbage in it. Oh yeah, and all the other greens we got right here. The kale, kohlrabi. Not corn. No, corn has to go up there. Whoa, that one's big, huge. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Look, it even comes with mixed lettuce seeds. Cool, we'll have to try those too. Holy smokes. We're good to plant all of the green stuff now, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, instructions. What do we do? Fill it with dirt. As we go, so fill the bottom. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. Yep. Fill each planter to the top with potting mix. About one cubic foot per tier. Alright. Okay, it says two cubic 
your feet, so hopefully that'll get you. I hope so. or something. I'm trying to do more, I guess. Ah, it's just heavy. Elijah, do you know where any... Right. There's a tiny shovel. No, we need like a big scoop. Okay, that should be good. I have a big scoop. I'll definitely make sure that's clear. Yeah. I have me some little scoops. Another one of those for, or do you think this is enough dirt? I think it's enough. Should be. Is that right? You read the That's instructions. What it looks like it's on the page right there. All right, we'll just do all these on the ground. We'll go ahead and fill them with dirt and not put the water trays in. I guess that's why you do that. No holes, no. You have your sandbox to do that, or you can go up to the garden. trying to make sure it's on here. Come on. Wait. Okay. This is nice. I like it being tall. Do you? Yeah. Ready? Done. 
That's all of these. All good? All the way down? Yep. Nice. I see you. <laughs> On the bottom row, we're gonna do cabbages all the way around. The next row, we're gonna do kohlrabi and mustard greens, half and half. Then we're gonna do mixed lettuce and beets on the third row. And the top two, we're gonna do carrots all the way around. Help me remember which ones I do, though. I will. For the ones that we're going to split half and half on the tiers, we're going to do every other, so it adds some interest. Why not? Oh, I think I dropped a few. Right. If we have any pop up, <laughs> it's mustard greens. This is the row of beets and mixed lettuce, and we're going to alternate each one as well. So, every other one. And how many beets do you want to do per? I guess maybe like four or five, and then we can pull out weaklings. Whoa, these are weird looking. We've never done beets before. Weird. Helm. Half an inch. Mom tease. So what you do is you fill this up to the line, it says five, because this is a five tier planter. Hey, I see you coming out on the floor. See ya. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, you'll see it dripping in there just a second. I'm gonna fill it up all the way since this is the first time. But... Okay, it's just now dripping into two. This must be the thing I did the garlic one. So this is called the Green Stalk. It is a US based company in Knoxville, Tennessee. And this tiered planter comes in three, four, and five tiers. This is the five. So I mean, it's pretty tall because I'm about five, five. And you can plant any number of things in it. 
What's awesome about this though is that it kind of self waters. You just add water to the very top and it distributes it all the way down to the bottom. So that's pretty cool. You don't even have to really worry about doing each one individually and especially for like tomatoes you don't have to worry about fungus and stuff like that because you sprayed them directly. So the kit we got comes with the five tier planter system. It comes with the movable base which are the wheels at the bottom and then it also comes with the insect net cover. This is going to be really important with us because we have a really bad problem with bugs, Japanese beetles, potato beetles, and all other sorts of bugs that I don't know the names of that regularly destroy our vegetables. So we're really looking forward to being able to have a net cover for this to keep our stuff safe. I've seen a couple other gardeners on YouTube use this system and they all seem to really like it. So we are expecting that we will really like it as well and probably get converted to this style of gardening. You can't beat the number of plants or vegetables that you can grow in the footprint with this system and that's one of the things we liked about it. With the planter being this tall, stability, especially with our two kids, is a concern of ours. It is fairly stable, even being on the not so stable foundation we stuck it on. You still want to be able to rotate it and move it so that your plants can get the sun as needed. But what I'm probably going to do is add a rope or a strap of some sort to secure this and anchor it to the corner post of our outdoor kitchen. That'll give us a little insurance for kids, but also for high winds that we do get up here on this hill, because as this grows with the plants and everything, it will catch the wind. So something to keep in mind. <laughs> there we go that's a lot better i don't think it's really going to go anywhere there all right next on our list is to go ahead and actually start our seed trays as well and we're going to take advantage of being out here outside and do those here we're going to do a select number of vegetables in that and that's going to be our tomatoes our squash some of your flowers and I think that's about all Melons. we can start. Yeah, maybe watermelons. Yep, that's gonna be the it for our starts that we can start now. The rest of the stuff will grow or direct, so that we'll do later in the year. Yep. So for our seed starts, we picked up these Pro Hex seed trays from our local hardware store. Um, this isn't necessarily a brand or a style that we wanted or seeked out. This is what was available here in the store and it's what we picked up. Um, we were not able to get seed starting mix for the soil because they didn't have any. So I got the next best thing, which is potting mix. So it is what it is. And yeah, it's not the technical, every correct thing you may want to get, but it's going to work fine. The regular dirt in the ground works, so it yeah. should work too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's in the bag is better than what we have in our soil, so it'll be good. It's a good thing we do this outside because I'm really messy. <laughs> so here I can just put the excess off on the counter and it's fine. As far as what we're going to plant, there's only two of my flowers that I'm going to start that are start as seedlings. And that is bee balm. I want to do it for the bees. And calendulas. And then we have some beef steak for our beef and tomatoes and some German pink tomatoes. This year Sam wanted more that are sandwich tomatoes instead of like the Romas and paste tomatoes. We're gonna try some celery. We tried the gray zucchini last year and really liked it. So we got it again to try this year. Some yellow scallop squash. 
They look really cool. I thought the boys would like them. Straight neck squash and two varieties of watermelon. The watermelon actually grows well here. We've gotten up to like 20 pounders before. So we're gonna do that again. Here we go. So through trial and error in the past couple of years, we found that one of these works a lot better to water the seed tray. Watering it from the bottom, it didn't seem to soak up as good as putting it on top and letting it soak down and in. So that's what we've learned through trial and error. It is time to get placed inside with our grow light that we'll probably have to find. I'm gonna get in your shadow. That's fine. Use your head to block the trash up there. No home is complete without your own scrap wood burn pile. Just saying. We actually pulled a lot of stuff out of that for the chicken coop, too. <laughs> Procrastination is a homesteader's friend. Whatever. Trash piles are a homesteader's friend. Yeah, we got all sorts of sayings. Bumper stickers, <laughs> new t-shirts. Trash piles are a homesteader's best friend. You never know what you'll find. That's right. <laughs> your trash might be your treasure if you just wait a day. Never know what you'll need. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed getting to see us do some garden work, even though it's just mainly dirt and seeds and planter and stuff like that. It was really fun to be able to get outside today. Mm -hmm. And even better to get my hands in the dirt again, just. Yep. I'd like to take this time to say thank you to all the people who have ordered soap from us. Thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. Um, this is a time where people are washing their hands quite a bit. And I have to say, with really nice homemade good smelling soap it makes it better when you have to do it 20 times a day yep and it doesn't dry <laughs> your skin out and well we could sell you all day long on it for sure <laughs> but we do really 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 appreciate those of you who bought soap yes. definitely not just now if ever and ever we've always appreciated it but now it really does help a lot so thank you and we are continuing to make more i have a stockpile of oils and stuff so i have been getting back on the bandwagon making more <laughs> so stay tuned <laughs> what uh, uh, uh. <laughs> on the bandwagon yep the soap bandwagon yep as long as you don't get on your soapbox i don't know it depends on what we're going to talk about <laughs> well we appreciate you watching and coming along and hanging out with us for a little bit leave us a comment down below chat with us a little bit we are home. I won't say more than we usually are. It just seems like there's a little bit less to do. We don't have huge projects coming up. They're all on pause. So what you're going to be seeing from us are the things. Small projects. Yeah, small projects or things we've already got materials for. So. Or some cooking videos. Yes, cooking videos. You want to see cooking videos? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Take care and thank you for watching.
see ya bye, bye.